Welcome my YouTube channel please subscribe now a regular reader of soaps.com. You're no doubt aware of our feelings about the young and the restless business storylines. But there is a way to salvage the mess of musical CEOs and characters who are more interested in perusing spreadsheets than tangling up bedsheets. Go ahead and confirm our fears about all of our own bosses by introducing an actual employee or a new vice president of meetings held at that one spot in Chancellor Park. We're talking about a rank and file lowercase e employee. Somebody with a cubicle instead of a corner office. Somebody who has to put in for vacation rather than just take off on the private jet. Somebody who wouldn't have sex on the furniture at work because all they have is a chair on wheels. Horrifying realization that OMG, the young and the restless business. Storylines are actually super realistic. Not just our bosses but apparently all bosses are just that clueless and cavalier about how their whims impact the lives of the little people whose hard work makes it possible for them to sleep on a mattress stuffed with imagine it. Every day, Laura shows up at her desk and opens her email with dread, waiting to see whether the company has changed names again, or whether her boss has another new boss, or whether a decision has come from on high. That everyone must wear stilettos on Fridays in order to improve morale. Yes, even the male employees. Laura will put off making an overdue eye doctor appointment because her insurance has been slashed to pay for that small island in the tropics that Billy saw in an issue of rich men's health and just had to have. She will show up for a mandatory all-hands meeting called by Nikki, only to learn that she's not in charge anymore and, oh rejected when all I bought